In this audit, we examined if the management of Victoria's biodiversity loss is halting the decline of threatened species. We examined how well the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning, or DELP, is acquitting its responsibilities to better protect threatened species under the Flora and Fauna Guarantee Act 1988, or the FFG Act, as well as the Protecting Victoria's Environment Biodiversity 2037 policy, which we refer to as Biodiversity 2037. DELP cannot demonstrate if it is halting further declines in Victoria's threatened species populations, because it lacks an effective monitoring and performance framework to measure and report the impacts of its actions. DELP has better practice tools to help it choose which protection actions to prioritise. However, data gaps hinder the reliability and accuracy of these tools. Funding available to DELP falls significantly short of what it predicts is needed. However, DELP has not provided detailed advice to the government about the cost and benefits of protecting threatened species. Healthy flora and fauna populations are critical to Victoria's biodiversity. Healthy biodiversity supports clean air and water, productive soils, pollination of crops, and is fundamental to our well-being. Victoria's native plant and animal species have been lost over the last 200 years because of threats, including land clearing and climate change. As of June 2021, Victoria has 1,991 listed species at risk of extinction. DELP is the responsible agency for overseeing the protection of threatened species. In 2017, it released its Biodiversity 2037 strategy to halt threatened species declines. The objective of the FFG Act is to guarantee the protection of all threatened species. However, Biodiversity 2037's approach is to protect the greatest number of species possible. This is pragmatic and recognises that DELP cannot guarantee there will be no further species decline or extinctions. However, DELP has yet to transparently communicate the gap between Biodiversity 2037 and the objectives of the FFG Act to the government and the public. The flaws in DELP's monitoring, reporting and performance indicators hinder its ability to demonstrate that public funds are being spent effectively and efficiently. DELP's lack of targeted monitoring means it cannot determine if its management interventions are adequately addressing key threats and halting further species declines. DELP uses better practice tools to help prioritise cost-effective management actions that are predicted to provide the greatest benefit to the greatest number of species. However, data and knowledge gaps underpinning these tools limits confidence in their outputs in the absence of adequate knowledge of what is happening on the ground. DELP's continued limited use of legislative tools to protect threatened species means that including a species on the FFG Act threaten list does not guarantee its protection. DELP lacks a transparent process to prioritise the management of critically endangered species that are not protected by Biodiversity 2037's approach. We made nine recommendations to DELP about improving its monitoring and reporting the impacts of its prioritised management actions, improving the currency and comprehensiveness of the data and knowledge underpinning its decision support tools, improving its use of the available legislative tools, and improving its advice to governments about funding needs and species prioritisation. You can find out more by visiting audit.vic.gov.au where you can read the full reports.